That's what brings people together. It's nothing like having a cold beer and sitting there and talking with your friends and making new ones. Beer is one of those things, it's uh, just like food. It takes hold of you when you have something that's something good. It's sort of like when you, um, you're going down the grocery aisle and you have different aspects. Let's go with uh, ice cream. You can get that uh, store brand, but you know that Bluebell right there is going to be rich creamy and that might be your brand or your Mayfield ice cream. When you start to realize you pay a little bit more for that quality, you're not you're able to get that satisfaction in a lower uh, quantity with a greater quality. Basically what we're trying to do here, and uh, I'm bought into it here, um, we try to be good people and make great beer and that's, that's our motto and we stand by it. Um, we understand that the community is what, where we get what, who supports us and that we always want to give back and support our community. When, uh, when we originally uh, moved to this location, um, a few years after our first incorporation in 2008, there was nothing around here much besides just old warehouses. Um, from that point, uh, University House uh, Apartments next door came in. And then after that, Regents Field was announced and that going next door. And then also with uh, Railroad Park has helped elevate this side of the town. Graduated from the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, stuck around there for a few years. So I have a master's in the art of teaching. Uh, but while I was there, I helped open up a uh, craft beer. I mean, it's a brew pub. They did not distribute it out to market. Um, they're still down there now, a little craft brew pub, downtown Old Mandeville, gorgeous. And that's where I really got aggressive into craft beer. It was uh, beer that brought me here. Um, came to Birmingham uh, following uh, beer and jobs that it's creating in the market for it. We had uh, a horse come in here to uh, drink beer. Um, so it's vet, uh, the vet had prescribed it to drink a beer a day um, in order to help it with its uh, gastrointestinal issues. So they brought the horse in here, um, did a little photo shoot, wasn't expecting it, no one gave me a heads up, so all of a sudden this horse is in here drinking some beer and having a good time. So that might be one of the, the quirkiest things that's happened since I've been here. My go-to is always going to be Good People IPA. It's been Good People IPA since before I even worked here. It's uh, something that you know is going to be good. A nice American style IPA, you're going to get that uh, a little bit of that, that pininess on the hops, so not too aggressive, not overly malty and sweet. It's just right in that wheelhouse of being a great IPA. And then of course I love to have uh, the seasonals that come on and off. Uh, the Mumbai Rye right now with our Denim Downhiller uh, Winter Ale coming uh, this coming month. Everybody talks about uh, Colorado and Oregon and uh, even up into the Carolinas, but here in Alabama we make some of the finest sales you can find in the country. We really want to be good people. I mean, we don't want to be known as somebody that can do something really well, but no one likes it.